<laughs> All right. Welcome to another episode of Mates Ray. Uh, this is the video everybody's been asking for. I literally go for exercise every afternoon and everyone on the street's like, hey, Jordan, when are you gonna do a cruises video? So now it's time. Pretty much what we've got here is a wide variety of cruises. Just before we start, a quick um, message. Uh, if the consumer watchdog is watching, if you're under 18 years of age, please do not consume these at any time, unless you're obeying. Let's begin. A bit of background on the, the old cruiser. It originated in New Zealand, which is just next to Australia, and it's owned by Asahi Brewery. Uh, the vodka site lists this as being a favourite for barbecues, parties and gatherings. So there you go. I'm sure a lot of you can agree. Moving along, the cruiser Black Guava. Now apparently this is normal cruisers are like 4.6 or 4.2 or something. This is 6.5, so you know it gives you a bit more of a oomph. Bit too fizzy for my liking. Feel a belly ache coming from that one. What even is guava? Can someone Okay, so Dan Murphy says Vodka Cruiser Black Guava has an exciting new look, a delicious mix of triple distilled genuine vodka and guava flavours. About a 7 out of 10 for me. I feel like belly ache. Would be good on a night out with the gals, but I mean, nah. Cruiser limited edition, pink grapefruit flavor. Now that's getting very technical. Beautiful color, limited edition, so that's always a plus. This one's even busier than the last one. It's not bad, you can definitely taste the pinkiness in it. I'll give it a seven out of 10, but again, it's probably a good one for a night out. You know, chilling with friends, etc. Okay, so BWS claims that this cruiser is setting the summer standard with this new limited edition flavor. Final thoughts on that one. Seven out of 10, a bit too fizzy for my liking. Gin, raspberry flavor. Now this is a very special edition. The uh, packaging kind of reminds me of Freddo ice cream cake. I will pop up what that looks like. Very fancy, very kids party vibes. I'm not sure about that. Looks exciting nonetheless, let's give it a go. A few bubbles rising to the top, that can never be good. A bit gaseous. Ooh, fizzy. Every time I take a sip out of that, um, it makes really loud noise. I'm not sure you can hear that. I don't know how that's gonna go in the bowels. Seven and a half. Pretty much which means if, I, if these were in the fridge, I would drink them for sure. But I personally wouldn't go buy them. Cruiser Gin is described as the vodka cruiser, but not as you know it. Cruiser brings you a refreshing take on pre-mixed gin mixed with a classic, no, a favorite cruiser flavor, raspberry. Amazing. The celebrate pack. Celebrate good times, as they say, baby. Crisp pear, soft peach, pale lime, strawberry. Seems there's a few missing. Pale lime and strawberry. Now, it does look quite pale. Let's see how it goes. I mean, I'll give it a seven. Crisp pear. Beautiful colour, look at that. That's just incredible. Mmm. That's good. 8 out of 10. Crisp pear. It's a yes from me. Kind of reminds me of like Care Bear, these flavours. They're very, very approachable, tasty and cute. I give that one an 8. I can get around that. It's a six pack. It's three of the same flavour, but just copy and pasted onto the other side. Personally, this hasn't been a celebration of like crazy sorts. You know, easy to carry six pack, light. I'm gonna rank the whole six pack. Compatibility, easy to carry a few different fun flavors. I'll give it an eight out of 10 for the whole package. Cruiser Blacks, this one's raspberry flavored. It was a big cordial drinker back in my day, but I'm not too sure about these. Fizzy, gassy. But nonetheless, not as bad as the other ones. The other ones were more like, ah, champagne vibes. I vibe with this one, raspberry. Eight and a half out of 10. This one's described as an intense raspberry explosion, but has a refreshing and crisp aftertaste. Crisp aftertaste, I agree. Congratulations. Moving on, 
the cruiser bold berry. I'm not sure what bold means. Fancy writing, fancy colors again. The colored ones aren't my favorite, but I'm happy to drink. That's sweet and a little bit sour. Mmm, bold berry, bit of a vibe. Eight and a half out of 10. I mean, it was, yeah, tasty nonetheless. All right, this one's described as delicious, exciting, and bursting with delicious summer berry flavor. Again, we're in autumn, so I'm not sure if it's the right time to be drinking this one, although it is 23 degrees outside. I mean, if I took it outside, I might enjoy it a bit more. Vodka Cruiser Juicy Watermelon Triple Premium Distilled Vodka. Get a load of that. Here we go. It's not bad. 5% alcohol. I mean, it's small, smaller than a bottle. Juicy, zesty watermelon. I feel like watermelon vodka is a staple in the Millennium Party household. This is definitely an easier alternative. Don't need to buy the watermelon. Don't need to infuse it in the vodka overnight. Just buy the can, for God's sake. So BWS has reviewed this as the taste of summer. We're currently in autumn. We'll be drinking this in summer, don't you worry. This is how you throw a party, Amigos, bitch. Out of 10, I'll give that a nine. I could smash a six pack of them any day. Really good. The sugar free, like I get it, I get it. Like we're trying to lose weight out here. Let's have a go at that one. Zero free sugar. I love my sugars. This will be interesting. That's incredible. No sugar, no calories. Just tastes like pineapple soft drink. Nine out of 10 from me. If you're watching the calorie count, etc., that's that's for you. Highly recommend. All right, moving on. Vodka Mud Shake Cowboy. Now this looks very crazy. Looks like a one-way ticket to the toilet for either vomiting or Gastro, flavored creamy vodka beverage. I don't know about this one. Cowboy, like, I'm not really into yeehaw stuff, but here we go. Okay, first taste, that's incredible. Like, what is that? Yeehaw, that's insane. That's so good. I would, I could drink this for dessert. See, I'm a big lover of ice cream, things like that. You're cool anything kind of dairy based. That tastes real good, eh? Hey? Straight up, not gonna lie, it tastes like cheesecake or something. That's incredible, that's a 20 out of 10. Yeehaw, cowboy. It blends creamy triple distilled vodka with butterscotch and cream liquors. Uh, best enjoyed chilled or over ice? I highly recommend that. Now we're back on the mud shakes. This one's just chocolate. I'm excited for this. It looks like a chocolate move or something. I'm a big fan of these. Judging off the last one, I'm very excited to try this. Mm, again, that's just hitting the spot. I kind of taste like chocolate up and go. 20 out of 10 again for me. That's just fire. Bless whoever thought of this idea. Amazing. So this one is described as a creamy blend of milk sophisticated, indulgent, and fun. We have that in common, don't we? Beautiful, cheers. All right, well, that wraps up the cruiser's ratings. But yeah, I'm not gonna lie, I feel a little bit sick and I'm going to go to the toilet. See you next time. <laughs>